if I took this throwing motion of the club and I just went like this, this would be what the throw is. If I were to isolate the arms and hands, quite literally, this is what's happening. Now, if I do this and I make a swing and I don't turn my body at all and or I throw the club back here, we would say that would be a flip, right? So the shaft's leaning back, the hands are in line with the right leg, that would be a flip motion. Now, if I do the same exact motion, but instead of it happening back here, that happened out here, more forward, we would look at that and say, that would be good, that would be normal, that would be a throw release. So a throw of the club is what you're seeing when you see a flip release, there's just the timing of it. And that's the key point. And to illustrate this, let's say we took a club or an alignment rod here, and I put it right in line with the, where the golf ball's at. When I'm doing this throw release, uh, I need to have it happen after that line, right? The result of the throw, regardless of whether I feel it back here, feel it up here, feel it out here, feel it down here, the result of it, when you look at it, needs to be thrown out here. <laughs> Hey guys, Eric here back outside at the Bethlehem Golf Club. I want to talk to you today about a throw release versus a flip release. What are the difference between the two? Now, before we dive into that real quickly, I want to talk to you about CogornoGolf.com. Now, we built CogornoGolf.com ultimately to remove the barrier between you and I so I can be your personal golf coach and really help take your game to the next level. Regardless of whether you're looking to break 100, break 90, maybe just fix your slice, improve your short game, we have solutions there. Uh, we have a Facebook group where you're able to post your swing up for uh, monthly feedback by myself and the coach at Cogorno Golf. Got a ton of different master classes and kind uh, content guided learning to really help you, again, take your game to the next level. If you'd like personalized coaching, I would love to work with you. We'll include the link for Cogorno Golf down in the description down below. So let's talk about a throw versus a flip release. Now, in some of the videos we have done, and some of you guys watch videos from other instructors, uh, there's been some videos by us and them talking about a throw release. And oftentimes the question comes up, says, Eric, what's the difference between a throw release and a flip release? Or hey, isn't that throw release actually a flip motion? And what we wanna talk about today is uh, no, they're different things, but how do you categorize each one? Uh, what is a throw release? Uh, what is a flip release? And then more importantly, how can you start to practice or, or fix these issues in your swing? So let's define the throw versus the flip. Now, as we're going through here, you're gonna see some images on the screen and you're gonna see a motion during the downswing of how the club arms and hands would normally react in a normal good golf swing. And what you're gonna see there from the face on and from the down the line view is that the golfer during the downswing, uh, when I have this throw motion, where the throw motion happens and where he does it is the part that I want you to pick up on. And you're gonna notice that he does the throwing motion or the result of the throw happens past the ball. And that's really key point number one. All golfers during the downswing are gonna throw the club. When we say throw, what do we mean to throw? Well, throwing would be the same thing if I were gonna have a ball and I were to throw it, right? If I was gonna throw the club down the range, essentially is a releasing of my wrist angles. So my left wrist going from bowed to flat to extended or cupped. My right wrist going from bent back or extended to flat to flex. So all golfers do that. The difference is better golfers, the ones who strike the ball better, do that throw out here past the ball whereas a flip motion would happen back here before the ball. And so if I took this same motion, right? If I took this throwing motion of the club and I just went like this, this would be what the throw is. If I were to isolate the arms and hands, quite literally, this is what's happening. Now, if I do this and I make a swing and I don't turn my body at all and or I throw the club back here, we would say that would be a flip, right? So the shaft's leaning back, the hands are in line with the right leg, that would be a flip motion. Now if I do the same exact motion, but instead of it happening back here, that happened out here, more forward, we would look at that and say, that would be good, that would be normal, that would be a throw release. So a throw of the club is what you're seeing when you see a flip release, there's just the timing of it. 
And that's the key point. And to illustrate this, let's say we took a club or an alignment rod here, and I put it right in line with the, where the golf ball's at. When I'm doing this throw release, uh, I need to have it happen after that line, right? The result of the throw, regardless of whether I feel it back here, feel it up here, feel it out here, feel it down here, the result of it, when you look at it, needs to be thrown out here. And where here is, is about 45 degrees past impact or a few feet out in front of the golf ball. So if I were to throw the, the club head at the ball quite literally, that would be what we would call a flip. So the shaft is back, hands are back. There's too much of an angle between my left arm and the club. This would be a good looking impact. This would be the extension of that impact. So what you're looking to do is have your arms extended, have the club thrown about 45 degrees past impact. So it points right back at you. That's the literal thing. So the timing of it. Now, something to keep in mind here, what we're all looking for is to hit a checkpoint in motion, which is a solid impact position. Uh, now, what a solid impact position we would say would be at the moment of impact, if you videotaped yourself or good players, you'd notice their hands are about in line with their left leg or over their left shoe, and the shaft is leaning quite a bit forward. That's basically what we're all seeking. Now, let's say golfer one comes in and they throw too early back here. So they already have the shaft too far back and you're hitting the ball like this. Well, what should you feel then? If you throw too early, Always we say you got to feel the opposites. That means you have to feel like you throw later, right? Let's say golfer two comes in. And by the way, golfer two who throws too late is like 0.01, of the population. 98% of the golfers I see throw too early back here. But you know, that 0.001 who throws too late, well, if they're throwing too late and they have too much shaft lean, too much shaft lean, then they need to feel like they throw a little bit earlier, which is the second key point here in that not every single one of you watching need to feel like you throw at the same point in time. The goal is what's the checkpoint, where are you at, and what do you need to feel to get to the point where I'm here? Where do I, well, Eric, where am I trying to go? Well, I'm trying to go hands over my leg. That's where I'm trying to get to. And again, what I'm saying is the majority of us throw too early, so we need to feel like we throw later. And again, the beginning points of that are you making some swings in here if you throw too early and feeling like you get the club thrown out here. Literally put a golf ball, right, or an object out here, two or three, four feet in front, and get a sensation of the club head throwing out there. Throwing out there. It's not back here, it's throwing out there. As with our other videos, you have to keep in mind there's gonna be variables that are gonna help or hurt, okay? A flip motion, who throws back here, oftentimes has a club face that's too open or a shaft that's too steep. A club face that's too open or a shaft that's too steep and so they flip. People who throw the club well past impact have the face already tilted down and it's on a good plane, right? So if you're someone whose club face is too open, shaft's over the top, you have to fix those variables first or else a simple drill like that might not magically work. But those are the pieces we're looking for. Throw release versus twist release. Everyone throws. It's a flip only if it happens early. For us to get the throw happening later, we need the club face in, in order, tilted down, it needs to be swung on plane from the inside, and I need to have some decent body rotation as I work through. So those are the pieces we're looking for. That's a throw release versus a flip release. You know, the only other caveats we have to keep in mind are uh, speed plays a little bit of a role. Uh, in that the more speed you have, the more you can get away with having the hands too far forward. And again, I'm telling you, like, that's a problem that's for a very small percentage of us, right? Big tax bill, handle too far forward. Um, too much speed. If I don't have enough speed, I might have to throw a little earlier. And then how does this apply to driver, right? Those will be two questions. And so with the driver, it is okay if I have a little bit more throw early. How come? Because with driver, the shaft should be more straight up and down at impact, whereas with the irons, it's a little bit more forward. So. Figure out where you wanna go, that's the checkpoint. Figure out where you are, that's using video. And then figure out what exactly you need to do to be able to fix that. That's working with a great coach. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, as always leave a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below, it really helps us out. Click the notification bell also, please subscribe if you have not. If you do enjoy these videos, we're gonna go ahead and put a card on the screen with another YouTube video similar to this one. If you like these style, wanna learn more. If you are interested in online coaching, want me to be your coach, go ahead and click the Cogorno Golf logo on the screen. We'll see you there.